Welcome to the Fort Johnson podcast, where we feature the stories, people, and events that help our community thrive. I'm your host, and today we shine the light on what really makes it all special, our customers. This week is Customer Appreciation Week, and we'd like to take the time to celebrate you, the heartbeat of all we do. We're grateful, whether it's for service, events, or mission. Stay tuned as we go behind the scenes of Customer Appreciation Week, share stories from our fantastic community, and talk about ways Fort Johnson continues to put our customers first. Let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching our podcast, I am Jeff England from the Public Affairs Office, and we are coming to you from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office Podcast Studio. Anyway, with us today, I've got with me today, Melissa Box from PAIO. She is not from PAO. She's from PAIO. That's slightly different because we're the Public Affairs Office. She's the Public Affairs Information Office. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what everybody thinks it is. Yes. So, but anyway, PAIO, Melissa Box. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us here today. Absolutely. And on the other side of the cameras, we've got Kelby Jones. Uh, he's the Garrison Safety Officer. And we've got Reggie Booth Jr. Uh, he's the Supervisory S Recreational Specialist. Recreation Specialist from MWR. Hey, guys, how's it going? A mouthful, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's like, it's like the longer the, uh, what is it, the longer the, the title, the more important you are, That's right? That's right. <laughs> Reggie is very important. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course. I mean, everyone likes the recreation. Of course. So, I mean, he's probably got the most uh, the most customers out of us all. He, he really does. So MWR here is awesome. Like, yeah, it, it really is. I, I wish you guys had better messaging, honestly. Oh, yeah. we're working on <laughs> you it. guys put out a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, we're, we're working on the marketing. That, I, the things that, uh, the things that mm -hmm. I noticed about um, MWR that not a lot of people know are the rentals. Yes. They, yeah. You've got you've got rentals up at uh, Toledo Bend. You can rent boats. You can rent uh, the the places to live or not live, but <laughs> some stay, people some stay people. for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> get a get a nice long weekend in that cabin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get to yeah. get to thinking. You're but go thing. out there, stay in a what? What are those little? Uh, so we have yurts, and we also have uh, cabins. Yeah, I almost called it. A, I almost called it. A, you got those jerks out there. No, <laughs> they're yurts. Yurts, yurts. not yurts. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the cabins and uh, boats, and um, do you have fish? Can you rent fishing equipment? Or, uh, uh, but I do know you have a store up there that you can uh, buy stuff also. Uh, yes, sir. So we do. We do have um, fishing poles that you can rent if you don't have your own, um, as well as the boat storage. Some people, uh, whenever they're fishing uh, during the summer, and then whenever fishing is out of season, they can store their boats up there uh, for a small fee at to live in. As That's well so as, cool. Uh, as well as Alligator Lake here, closer to uh, Fort Johnson. Yeah, the thing that gets me about Alligator Lake: no alligators. Nope. That's nope. a shame. It's like it's a it's a it's a misnomer. It's false advertising. <laughs> false advertising. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good customer service. No, that's they not good. They came to good. see alligators. Yeah, not good customer service. <laughs> um, Melissa, you've got uh, you've got a whole bunch of stuff that's uh that you've scheduled out for customer appreciation week so uh why are customers uh why are we so appreciative of our customers well that's a great question i know I, I usually get a good one in there every once <laughs> yeah. in a while so um here at fort johnson it's our people that make us who we are right i hear it day in and day out um and our people um, our staff, our personnel here on Fort Johnson who serve our customers. And we have the best customers in the world here at Fort Johnson. Um, and when I say customers, we're talking about our, uh, our soldiers, our family members, our retirees who visit Fort Johnson, and then also our civilian employees here. Yeah. And the and the family members and, and oh abs absolutely and the, and the strangers that come in and every, everyone and the, who comes through the gate are our customers and the stray dog that comes down the street we'll and, we'll take them too <laughs> we we take all customers well we do we do have the veterinarian clinic so yeah the cut the dogs can't be customers yes too. sir they absolutely can and I bet you they're happy I don't think so. No. I, no, no, no. I I brought our dog here for I think about eleven years, and he did not like going there. He didn't, no, but no. The do, some dogs don't mind going to the the he vet. Like Others it. do. He didn't like it. <laughs> not because of the vet. We have great vets. Oh no, great the vets are great. There, so. Our vets are so great. Uh, we make them commanders of the whole hospital. Wow. 
Yeah. Nice. Yes, the, uh, the commander of the uh, BJAC is uh, is a veterinarian. I did not know that. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. It is, she isn't is. it? Mm-hmm. She is. So, so uh, what would you say is uh, well? Let's let's get your job down. Uh, because you have customers, I'm one of your customers. Yes, sir. And uh, you better be appreciative of me. I, we're always <laughs> appreciative of you, Mr. Jeff, and all of PAO and everything that yeah. you do um, to make our installation look uh, as great as it absolutely is. As um, uh, as PAIO, what is what is your main purpose over there? in your office what's your main job well i have a couple of jobs mr jeff so one one of those centers around um a, the first thing i do every morning and the last thing i do every evening um, is to look at our ice comments and i know a lot our customers are familiar with ice which is our interactive customer evaluation yes i noticed that we don't have an ice comment for our customers you know like i'd like I, a customer came in and i'd like to ice comment them <laughs> No, sir. No, no, no sir. Okay, it doesn't so, work that way. Ah, no, just so, the other way. <laughs> so, uh, so ice is used only for um, to grade our services that you receive on the installation. Both good and bad. Well, we yes. like to say positive and not so positive mm-hmm. because our not so positives are a chance for us to improve, and we want to listen to what our customers have to say. I've heard that before. My first sergeant has said in the past, "It's like, who would like the opportunity to excel." <laughs> that's 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 a bait and switch for it you right is there. right <laughs> so so uh kelby what do you what is as the uh, garrison safety officer uh what is your main uh role and who are your customers so i'm one of the safety people obviously we have a great ah. team here. We have, there's four of us it's not there, many for the entire garrison but are there any persons over there there is one it's clifford person <laughs> Is our safety That's a manager. Of words, you know, yes. his name is Person. No. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, so uh, unlike Reggie, uh, we don't have like paying customers, so to speak. Our customers are you guys. You know, we are here to serve you in any way we can, and the way that we provide the best customer service we can is by you know ensuring you have a safe workplace. You know, everyone has the right to that. Absolutely. Uh, what about you, Reggie? Um, so me specifically, I work at the Home Heroes Soldier Recreation Center. Um, we are open to active duty service members, um, DO bachelors, as well as rotational soldiers that come here for to Fort Johnson for uh, training purposes. Um, we we try to t- treat our customers like family uh, here at the at my facility and across other MWR facilities here. On well, you know that sometimes that's not a good thing. Uh, yeah. and I've I've seen some family members good that don't then. treat each other nice. Right, good times <laughs> and bad times, but <laughs> primarily good good times. Great. Great memories are made here on Fort Johnson and our MWR facilities. Uh, I like to think every day that we, everyone that wears our MWR shirt, uh, we come to work every day to do the best that we can for our soldiers and our families, uh, our retirees. Um, we're trying to make their day a little bit better, you know. And well, I've seen, you know, I, I've worked a lot with MWR, uh, and you guys do a great job over there. And I've got, uh, I've got a lot of uh, T-shirts from. Uh, Freedom Fest. Oh, yeah. So it's like you guys work hard, long hours, and, yeah, you get to hang out with all the the fun stuff, but you also have to do all the the behind-the-scenes. And it's not just the uh, outdoor uh, festivals and stuff like that. We've got got the bowling center and – the uh, lounges and the in the restaurants and and uh, the morale is uh, ACS and welfare is ACS morale is all the fun stuff the go karts and I mean, putt putt and yeah all that good stuff yeah I call that I call that K two K two yeah I think I think we should start that and just call it K two clubs and carts <laughs> with K's <laughs> I like that you like that like let's that. go yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I heard that for the first time there was an ice comment and I uh you know sent out uh, uh for a response and then I got a response back K2 we'll get back with you and I thought what is I know we have a lot of acronyms because we use acronyms <laughs> for everything and I thought what is K2 and I started you know as I'm going through and I was like oh clubs with a K and carts with a K yeah. so yes our cup too it um, sounds it kind of sounds like a mountain it, it kind of does. It kind of does. I will say um, with MWR, going back to um, what uh, Reggie said earlier, you guys in MWR rock. You absolutely rock. And it shows with our ICE comments. Thank I you. will say you guys are normally the very tip top 
of the um, positive responses out there. So we appreciate everything that you guys do. Over Lucky there. dogs. <laughs> you you guys are great too. Yeah, PAO. right. You are. You are. <laughs> it's just MWR is just a plethora well, right, they do of facilities. So much. Yeah. So they're they're they do. The, really the face, mm-hmm. right, to our customers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's they they do a lot. I mean everything everything behind these gates is anything uh, worth doing uh, on your off time is is MWR. Yes, it's all going to be MWR. So yeah, sure. yeah. get off get off work and uh, go check it out. Go to the gym. <laughs> Come to the right Oh yeah, I forgot about the gyms. Yeah, yeah, yep. forgot about the gyms. Yeah, I and obviously you can tell that say, I've forgotten I, about you, the gyms. Yeah. <laughs> Not just you, brother. <laughs> So uh, the uh, what was the latest customer or the best? How about that? Uh, let's see your um, favorite part of uh, or your favorite satisfaction that you got out of helping out a customer. That was a convoluted question, Jeff. I know it is. So Let me see if we'll, I could straighten we'll, this we'll out. Try. Let's see. Um, what is what was your favorite story about customer? Uh, uh, Helping out a customer and making sure that they were completely satisfied. Better? Better. Oh, okay. okay. Better. That's, that's a little bit better. <laughs> so uh, customer service really, I have a what you call a servant's heart, I think, anyway. Um, I, I enjoy uh, helping people as best I can and whatever it is. It may not be safety. You know, it may not be uh, have anything really to do with my job. We get customers calling us all the time looking for, like, what's the number to the uh, – px or whatever you know and it's always some confused old lady or something very sweet and uh i'm always more than you know happy to help them uh you know find what they are looking for melissa's over there whispering about me (laughs) yeah she's she's always doing something over here (laughs) yes no but it it, it is it's it is it's something that i I very much enjoy doing Uh, miss melissa actually let me be a part of their opex team Honestly, since I've come over to the Garrison Safety Office, I'm getting out, meeting people a lot more than I was over at the airfield. Um, and honest to God, that is my, my favorite part of the job, is getting out, meeting the customers, meeting the people that we serve. Yeah, getting out and, and meeting people, yeah, that is uh, one. Of, that's That was a big thing with the uh, the security guards, too. Yes. Uh, yep. They've got a lot of customers, <laughs> lot. almost everybody. Absolutely. And um, But they said that that's meeting everybody and, and getting to know everybody that, you know, they, and they only see them for a couple seconds a day. Right, but those are important seconds. You know, yeah. that's your first face that you see when you come onto Fort Johnson, if that experience is a good one or a bad one you're gonna remember like hey man what was wrong with that guy you mean like if somebody gets stopped for an inspection Um. but you know what we (laughs) but if 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 by chance someone does get stopped you know for an inspection then we feel safe absolutely we we know that um the, the security guards are scanning and they're doing their jobs and they're making sure that um, only the people that are supposed to be on the installation are on the installation. I like, and we appreciate that. I yeah. like the idea that they're random and you never know. It's yeah, like, me well, too. why won't? Why are you taking this out of your car? <laughs> because I'm going through the gate. Well, yeah, and <laughs> because you never know. Nope. <laughs> you never know. What are you smuggling, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going over to the range. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. Yes, that is important. So, uh, Reggie, what what is your favorite uh, part of your job? Oh. My favorite part of the job is just, uh, so at my facility, we're open, like I said, we're open to active duty service members and uh, <clears throat> a DO bachelors. My favorite part of my job is whenever a rotational soldier comes through and then they come back and they recognize the person that was there or they're like, hey, is is Reggie still there or um, is so-and-so still there or still working there? And I'll say, oh, no, they're, they're not here at this facility, but they're like down the street at one of the gyms or another MWR facility. So you really develop a like a, a close connection with the with the soldiers whenever they come into our facilities. Um, it, all it is is take a little bit of time to get to know them. Like ask them go as far as asking them, hey what do you like what brings you here to Fort Johnson? What do you like to do? And then you can you can introduce them to the different facilities on ba- on base. Uh, in case they didn't know where that installation or where that uh, facility on base was at. So just taking that little extra time to get to know them 
and direct them to where they need to go. Yeah, the uh, the rotational soldiers, they, I mean, they're here for what a couple weeks and couple weeks sometimes, and they don't know. While well, they don't really get off of North Fort very often, if they do at all, and uh, th- of course they're not going to know where anything is. And, and so we are, we actually <clears throat> we're right across the street from the AAR theater here on South Fort. Um, so we get a lot. A lot of the rotational soldiers. Well, that's because Pizza Hut's oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they come get Pizza Hut, and they come into our facility. They take a lot of naps in our facility, especially in our theater room. Oh, and the boss lounge. <laughs> yes, the boss yes, yes, the boss headquarters as well, where I am at. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, so, and the laundromat. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I just keep I keep thinking <laughs> of more and more things that are there. <laughs> yep, yep. So they wash their laundry, eat some pizza, take a nap, play some pool. So but, what is uh, what was your main your main happiest moment about uh, helping somebody out when you just you helped helped a customer out and and you just knew deep down that that was that's why I'm here this is this this was a good day I think that goes back to the the ice comments like Miss Melissa said um, myself as well some of my other staff members we received several ice comments over the years at my facility that I've been at for a while now uh, one of the Greatest ones that stuck out to me personally was um, just the appreciation of all of our staff members and the attitudes that we had for that one service member as well as uh, the whole facility. They said whenever they walked into our facility, it felt like they were at home. Oh, and that yeah. really, really tugged out the heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's that's free, right? So we, we do provide great customer service. MWR does mm-hmm. great. Um, it's really easy to treat people with dignity and respect and, and you know, like a brother or sister. Uh, but on the flip side, when you're the customer, it, it is free to put in a, a positive ice comment. You know, that it really does mean a lot to us whenever you guys call us out for being, you know, being good, doing doing what we're supposed to do and, and making you feel appreciated. That makes us feel appreciated as well. Yeah, it kind of goes back to that whole squeaky wheel gets the grease. And, That's right. But the other three are sitting there going like, well, we're <laughs> doing everything too. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm so- Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so glad. Sorry about. I, I am. I am so. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I jumped in, but I felt like I needed to say something. Yes. I was up here on the side by myself. Um, <laughs> I do appreciate you guys. Um, you know, mentioned ice and that it doesn't cost anything to put in ice. Uh, but the um, the results that we receive from these ice comments, I just want our customers to know that if we are doing something right, let us know. Mm -hmm. Because if no one tells us, then, you know, we may, we may tweak something that doesn't need to be tweaked. Right. Um, And if you have some suggestions, um, say, you know, there's a service that you received or facility that you went to and you're thinking, you know, maybe if this or that was done a little different. Yeah, I had a good experience, but maybe the difference between a good experience and a great experience. Mm-hmm. And that's what we want our customers to have is a great experience right. when they go to our facilities. Yes. And and uh, if you have a horrible experience and you need to complain about something, you go ahead and put it into ICE. <laughs> My name is Reggie <laughs> Jackson Booth Jr. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. I'm just kidding. Oh, now, <laughs> no, I just I, I you know I love I my favorite part of um, of doing my job is when somebody's happy with what I've done. Yeah. It just that just that makes my day. It's like and I try not to show it and uh you know because you get too cocky and all that stuff but uh somebody says, "Oh, I I love the I love thank you very much for being there. It that was cool." And yeah, that's 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 great for me. I love that. And uh but uh yeah, the ice comments are much better because then it's not just me that that sees it it's if somebody else sees it and says oh wow he does work (laughs) it's a lot of people that see it a lot of people see it Um, and i and i really um like what you mentioned jeff about a thank you i think you can go a long way right um and how many times have we gone through a week a month you know even six months right um doing doing the the best that we can do maybe doing a little above and beyond which is our theme for customer Mm -hmm. service week by the way this week um and our podcast starts that out um but no one you know has sort of given you a pat on the back or a thank you or we really appreciate that and i think you goes a long way a long way especially from our customers it kind of gives us staff to uh, for my staff as well, whenever we get a positive ice comment, it kind of gives us that 
that jolt of like we're doing the right thing, keep going, let's do better, you know, to get some more. You know, I like the idea. I think we should start something new. The <laughs> the office with the most ice comment, uh, positive ice comments, gets a pizza party uh, paid for by PAIO. Wow, well, I, I think I like I that. Will great idea, right? I like great idea. <laughs> I, I will. I will definitely take that. that further. I feel at a disadvantage though with safety. No one is ever happy to see safety, so we may not. Ever don't win be that. that guy, right? No, that's yeah. what we hear all the yeah, time. Yeah, don't be that guy. <laughs> well, no, safety's got safety's got good things like sure. uh, you know if it wasn't for if it wasn't for safety coming over and uh, telling us this or that. Uh, this could have turned into something bad or or something bad does happen. And well, safety, I remember safety uh, told us this. I remember safety saying something and that's what made this just a small accident t instead of a, a huge one. That's right. Yeah. Or uh, or uh, the things that a lot of people don't uh, really like to do are LODs. And um, uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's how safety learns. We, right. <laughs> and see, and it, it's just important. We're not the safety police. Like, we, we really are there to help. And No, they wear a badge. <laughs> One guy, he made his own badge. I know. <laughs> Put on the hat. <laughs> Has a vest. <laughs> but no, um, everyone, every safety team member over there is, is, is great. And we're all, we all have this customer service uh, mindset. And again, you are our customers. We want to come and provide the best service that we can. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> See, Melissa's got a whole list of things over here that she I keeps do. referencing. It's like I, I want to make do. sure she doesn't forget anything. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. Yeah. You know. Well, so today kicks off our customer service week with the podcast. So we appreciate you oh, wow. uh, letting our SMEs, our cream of the crop, the best. I've always, of the I've best always wanted to be on a that. podcast. You are Did you? <laughs> living that dream. Living we the appreciate dream. we appreciate you and everything that you do. Well, you're my customer today, so I'm hoping that uh, that I uh, uh, hook you up with everything that you need. And and we know how to fill out ice. So. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, <laughs> I know how to make ice. <laughs> So today, Monday, uh, like I said, it kicks off the week with our podcast, right? Um, and then uh, we're going to have some training because you always need training, right, with everything that you do. So um, Tuesday, we're going to have some training with our ICE managers. And why are we doing that training? Uh, because it's important that we respond to our customers in a timely and appropriate manner. We just want to make sure that we're doing that and that we're listening to the customers. Well, in order to be an ICE manager, you have to be real cool. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. It helps. And and if not, we train you. We'll train you on that, right? Um, and then uh, Wednesday, we're also going to have some customer service training. Mr. Jones mentioned OPEX. Mm -hmm. So cool. our new personnel, when they uh, first come here on Fort Johnson, they receive operational excellence training. And in a nutshell, that's our customer service training. Mm -hmm. So we actually have customer service training mm -hmm. for our personnel. And then we have that annually, right, with our right. Um, annual OPEX. And that's in a nutshell. In a nutshell, it it's, it's really good nutshell. training too. <laughs> like I, I very much enjoyed giving the training mm -hmm. as much as you know. Hopefully, they enjoyed receiving the training. Get it because it's all really great stuff to to help put those tools in that toolkit for our our great customer service. Yeah, I always the the training that I got in uh, like high school and stuff. The best training we had was when they when they rolled in the the movie projector. <laughs> We I get, have, now you're t now now everyone you're knows the how, AV that guy? I'm old guy. <laughs> it's like, what's a movie projector? Oh, you know the VCR. What's a VCR? <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, so with our customer <laughs> with our customer service training, we have videos. We have a lot of videos that we play, right? Yep. Yeah, and we're looking at uh, what is good customer service, what's great customer service, and what's not so good customer service. So we have the kind of what to do and what not to do, sort of, right? And then we also have hands-on activities that we do because people learn different ways, right? Some people like PowerPoints while they sit there and read them. There are people out there that do that. I am I, one of those. I've got some, or I know some videos. It's from the Chappelle Show. <laughs> The Dave Chappelle Show, man, you'll love them. You'll love them. It's all about customer service. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. I will look for those. <laughs> I will definitely look for those. Um, and then Thursday this week, we're gonna have a recognition ceremony, mm -hmm. right? For um, we would we uh, want to make sure that we're thanking our personnel. We're also focusing on our frontline workers uh, because. Uh, 
the bulk of our customers, right? That's who sees our customers day in and day out. Um, and make sure that we get those positive ICE comments and then we're putting a friendly face out there, like our gate guards. Oh, right? absolutely. Uh, a lot of our MWR personnel. Um, and we just want to thank everyone and appreciate everyone for all the hard work that they do. Friday is going to be our wrap up. Uh, so you're going to see uh, some customer service professionals of the day. You're going to uh, meet the service providers. We're going to have those out on um, displays, the um, the TV screens, I call them out through posts, right? What, what do you call those? Marquees. Marquees. Yes, yeah. those, right? Um, and then we're going to have some command walkthroughs. So be on the lookout. You're going to have some visitors in your areas this week, and they're going to be passing around some uh, some goodies and some words of affirmation and lots of thank yous. Cookies? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Cookies. Probably cookies. not. Cookies are good. Cookies. <laughs> Chocolate chip. They lured me to the dark side because <laughs> they had cookies. <laughs> But I, the, the biggest takeaway I want to make sure that uh, that we hone in on is this is an excellent opportunity this week to thank and encourage our employees because all of us here on the installation, we serve those who serve. Yeah. Um, and we want to make sure that everyone we interact with has a positive experience with us. Yeah, the soldiers have a hard enough day out there just mm -hmm. doing the training. Uh, it's, it's nice to be able to... Uh, give them something back or it's at least give them a good product. You know, they come over to us uh, asking or needing for something. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they walk away with, with a good product and a, and something that makes them, okay, great. Uh, well, that wasn't, it's, it's, you know, you come in, try to work with somebody and it, there's no problems whatsoever. They're very happy to help out and all that stuff. That just, that makes my day, at least. Uh, I love being able to work with people that that are appreciative or at least not mad. Right. Yeah, that, that's a big one. <laughs> so if you could walk away from dealing with me not being mad or upset that, well, that was a waste of time. That's, <laughs> and I, I think I'm doing good. <laughs> right. And so, so with that, I, I think it's interesting, like, because we work for MCOM, right? That's our command. And I was new to the Army, right? So I didn't know too much about the Army. I was prior Air Force. I was like, well, what is MCOM? Yeah, installation so, management. This is why I like this guy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Air, Air Force. Force. Right. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good job. Um, <laughs> but the way it was kind of described to me, and I, I kind of liked it, was we're kind of like mom and dad, right? We're here at the garrison taking care of our soldiers so they can take care of us downrange, right? If we can be here providing them good customer service, taking care of their family, they don't have to worry about that. So we have a really important role as MCOM to take care of our guys and, and their their families so that they don't have to worry and, you know, they can do what they got to do. See, now, it, it's really cool to hear all of these stories about, uh, you know, the customers and stuff like that and uh, who your customers are. And, and you know, it's – and then, then you get over to me and it's like, who's your main customer? It's like the colonel and the general. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you don't want to get them mad. Yes. <laughs> you want to make sure that they're happy with your, with your product. Yes. <laughs> So the um, if you could do if you could say anything to a customer that was not happy and to show them that you appreciate them and and we all do, uh, what would be your your go to to make sure that your your customer is happy? What would you say to them to to make sure that they were uh, they knew that they were appreciated and that they were properly taken care of? I would just ask ask questions, you know, is there anything more that I can do for you? What can I do to make this better for you? If if they are already upset, what can I do to make this right? Yeah. How can I help you? Make it right. Yeah. And so sometimes sometimes we can't. Sometimes the situation it just is what it is and there's nothing we can really do to help. But a, a friendly smile and a, you know, pat on the back and say I'm sorry, it can go a long way too, you know, to kind of lessen that blow of like, well, I really didn't get what I wanted out of this. I like the whole, uh, we're, we're the mom and dad. It's like, all right, dad, can I have 20 bucks? Yeah, well, <laughs> ask your mom. <laughs> but 
Well, being the mom <laughs> yeah. I am here today, um, I really appreciate uh, where Mr. Jones came out with, you know, first of all, listen, right? Mm-hmm. Listen to the customer and, and listen um, to understand, not listen to respond. Right. Um, so what I got of what you were saying was definitely that OPEX training that we have, right? Yes, and right. something else we stress with OPEX is after you listen and you take everything in, right? And you're like, okay, what, what can I do? What's in my authority to do? Mm-hmm. Or do I need to reach out to the next person? Right. Mm -hmm. And um, with ice, a lot of times I'm reaching out to the next person because maybe it's not my specialty. Mm -hmm. However, you know what we always want to make sure that we do? And we do stress this in OPEX. And I try to remember this myself in everyday life. Thank the customer. Mm -hmm. Right. And how many times do you want to thank someone if if they're, you know, not being so polite with you (laughs) and they're not happy? We're not going to say mad. We're just going to say not so happy. Right. Not so satisfied with you. Mm -hmm. But again, you want to thank them. You know, um, I appreciate everything that you told me today. Um, I want to thank you for bringing it to our attention. Um, again, letting the customer know that you were listening and they were heard, yeah. right? Because we, we want our customers want. to have a voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, exactly. That's all they want a lot of times is someone to listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, excellent. Well, I appreciate everybody that comes in or that came in today. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate you, my customers. <laughs> Kelby, uh, Kelby Jones, Garrison Safety Officer, Reginald Booth, uh, Junior, Reggie, the uh, Supervisory Recreation Specialist from MWR, and of course, Melissa Box from uh, from PAIO. Right, we got the extra I. I O. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm Jeff England, and uh, that's why. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office. Uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Um, Please leave a comment, leave a suggestion. If you'd like to see somebody on the show, let me know. I'll try to get them on and and make sure that I can appreciate them too. Uh, (laughs) But we'll see you back again next week. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, notify, and uh, we'll be listening and watching at you later. That was easy.